In this tutorial, I will explain the basics of working with trend charts. This is an example of an embedded trend chart within a tool. At the top of the trend chart is the trend chart toolbar. The toolbar allows you to start, stop, and freeze the trending, zoom on the plot data, view the properties dialog for the trend chart, export the plot data, clear the plot data, and save and restore the trend chart configuration. Below the toolbar is the chart surface, where the plot data is drawn. Below the chart surface is the plot legend, which shows more detailed data on the plots. You can shrink and expand the toolbar using the button on the top right of the toolbar. You may want to shrink the toolbar if you want more space for the chart surface. You can also resize the plot legend to your liking. To begin trending data, make sure you are connected to your device and click the start button on the toolbar. To freeze the trend chart display without stopping the data collection, click the freeze button on the toolbar. To resume display of live data, click the view live button on the toolbar. To stop the data collection, click the stop button on the toolbar. To clear the data in the trend chart, click the clear data button on the toolbar. You will be prompted to ensure you want to clear all your data. You can view an embedded trend chart in its own window by using the tear off icon in the top right of the trend chart. Click and drag on the icon to place the tear off window. Changes in the tear off window are mirrored in the embedded trend and vice versa. The tear off window allows you to see your trend data when you are on other pages. The tear off window also allows you to size the trend chart to your liking. To close the trend chart tear off window, click the close window button. There are multiple ways to configure the trend chart and the plots within it. The first way is using the trending properties window. Click the Properties button on the Trend Chart toolbar. This will open the Trending Properties window. The top of the Trending Properties window contains properties for the trend chart. You can set the sample rate that the plots are updated at. You can set the storage type for the trend chart. There are two storage types, in-memory data log and to a data log file. The in-memory data log stores the plot data in the memory on the PC. If logging to an in-memory data log, you can set the capacity property to set the data log size. Once the data log fills up the capacity, older data is replaced when newer data is logged. This is called a circular data log. Setting the unlimited capacity property will disable the circular data log and log all data until the computer runs out of memory. If the storage type is set to data log file, you need to set the file name property. This file can then be viewed and analyzed after logging is complete. See the data logging to a file help topic for more information. You can set the default time span of the trend chart. Use the plot section of the trending properties window to set the properties of the plots. To change the properties of a single plot, select the plot in the plots list and modify the property in the plot properties editor. To change the properties of multiple plots at once, select the plots in the plots list you want to change the properties for, and then modify the property in the plot properties editor. You can also change the plots order in the plots list. This changes the order that the plots are shown in the plot legend of the trend chart, 
and the order they are drawn on the chart surface. The plot legend allows you to configure some of the plot properties. To modify text plot properties in the plot legend, like the plot name or scale, double click on the property to put the cell in edit mode, and then edit the property. Other cells in the plot legend have embedded editors, like checkboxes or drop downs. You can double click in a non editable cell of a plot in the plot legend to bring up the trending properties window, with the plot already selected for editing properties. See the working with the chart help topic for more information on working with the plot legend. The trend chart allows you to scroll through the data. The chart contains a scroll bar below the chart surface that displays all the data with two grab handles that indicate the region of the data that the chart surface is displaying. To scroll, click and drag in between the two grab handles to move the visible region in the chart surface. You can also click the point on the scroll bar you wish to be displayed. The trend chart allows panning on the data. Click the right mouse button while in the chart area. Drag to the desired position. To pan in only the time direction, hold the shift key, right click, and drag in the plot surface. To pan in only the plot range direction, hold the control key, right click, and drag in the plot surface. The trend chart allows zooming on the data. Click on the zoom in or zoom out buttons on the toolbar to zoom in or out. From the keyboard, press Ctrl plus to zoom in. Press Ctrl minus to zoom out. Click on the zoom full button to zoom out to the extents of the plot data. To rubber band zoom a region on the plot surface, click and drag in the plot surface to select the region to be zoomed into. To rubber band zoom in only the time direction, hold the shift key and click and drag left or right in the plot surface to select the region to be zoomed into. To rubber band zoom in only the plot range direction, hold the control key and click and drag up or down in the plot surface to select the region to be zoomed into. Click and drag one of the grab handles on the scroll bar and drag the handle left or right to select the region to be zoomed in or out. Double click anywhere on the plot surface to zoom out to the extents of the plot data. Click and drag anywhere on the time span below the plot surface to zoom in or out in the time direction. If a plot scale is displayed, click and drag anywhere on the plot scale next to the plot surface to zoom in or out in the plot range direction. The plot surface contains two cursors that can be moved to provide information about plot data between the cursors. Plot data for each plot is displayed in the legend. By default, the cursors are at the far left and right of the plot surface. The cursors can be moved by clicking and dragging the cursor line on the plot surface or the cursor label under the chart surface. Alternatively, the cursors can be moved with keyboard shortcuts. You must first click on the chart area before the cursors can be moved with the keyboard. The left or right arrows moves the left cursor by 1% of visual range. Alt plus the left or right arrows moves the left cursor by one tenth of a percent of visual range. Shift plus the left or right arrows moves the right cursor by one percent of visual range. 
Shift plus Alt plus the left or right arrows moves the right cursor by one tenth of a percent of visual range. The plot data displayed in the legend includes Y1, the value of the plot at the left cursor, Y2, the value of the plot at the right cursor, Y delta, the difference between the Y1 and Y2 values of the plot, minimum, the minimum value of the plot between the cursors, maximum, the maximum value of the plot between the cursors, average, the average value of the plot between the cursors, change per second. The average change per second of the plot value between the cursors. Users can configure what plot properties are shown in the plot legend. To configure the shown properties, right click on the header of the plot legend. Select the properties to be shown or hidden. You can save the configuration, as the default configuration, by right-clicking the header of the plot legend and selecting the set as defaults. If you make changes to the plot legend configuration, and wish to restore the configuration to the defaults, right-click on the header of the plot legend, and select the Restore Defaults option. Trend Chart Property Set in Run Mode can be saved and loaded into a trend chart to automatically configure the trend chart and plot properties. These saved properties are called trend configurations and are stored in the tool user options file located in the same folder as the tool file. If you make changes to a trend chart in a tool and don't save the changes in a configuration, your changes will be lost when the tool is closed. Make some changes to the trend chart or its plots. To save a new trend configuration, place your cursor in the Select or Enter a Config Name drop-down. Type in the desired configuration name. Click the Save Config button. Save configurations can be loaded into the trend chart by selecting the desired configuration name from the Select or Enter a Config Name drop-down. You can delete Save Trend Chart configurations by first clicking the Select or Enter a Config Name drop-down. Locate the desired configuration in the list. Click the Delete button adjacent to the configuration name. To edit a trend chart configuration, select the desired trend configuration. Use the Properties dialog or legend to change the desired trend or plot properties. Click the Save Config button. To restore a trend chart to the default properties stored in the tool, click the Select or Enter a Config Name drop-down. Select the Restore to Default Config item. Plot data can be exported for use in other programs. Click on the Export button on the Trend Chart toolbar. From the Export Options dialog, configure the Export Options. Click the Help button to see more detailed information about export options. Click the Browse button to select the output file. Select or type the desired file name in the Save dialog. Select the desired file type in the Save dialog. Click the Save button on the Save dialog. 
Click the Export button on the Export Options dialog. Toolkit allows you to trend any parameter value, even if a trend chart is not part of your tool. This feature is called Trend on the Fly. To trend on the fly, right mouse click on the component containing the parameter value you wish to trend. Left mouse click the Add to Trend pop-up menu item. The trending window will open with the parameter value you selected. Click the Start button on the Trend toolbar to start plotting data. To add additional parameters, repeat the steps with the components containing the parameters you wish to trend. Trend on the fly configurations can be saved in the Tool User Options file and restored at a later time. If you create a trend on the fly and don't save the changes in a configuration, the trend on the fly configuration will be lost when the window or tool is closed. Saving the trend on the fly configuration is done the same way as in an embedded trend chart. To open a save trend on the fly configuration, click on the configurations button in the tools ribbon of the main window. Select the configuration you wish to open. The trend on the fly configuration will be restored in the trend on the fly window. The trend chart default configuration can be modified by the user. To modify the default configuration, Select the Options button on the Tools ribbon tab of the main window. Select the Data Log, Trending tab on the Options window. Modify the default configuration settings of the trend chart. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the basics of working with trend charts.